is June 1st, 2022, and the last couple episodes of Stranger Things come out in a month. 30 days. And I've never seen a single episode of uh, Stranger Things. It's been on my watch list since, like, I don't know, maybe season two, season three came out. I saw a couple minutes of an episode of season three, and at that point, I was like, I'm gonna watch this so I don't want to spoil myself, so... But it's taken me this long. Anyway, I looked at it. There are so far 32 episodes of Stranger Things out, 30 days. I could do a double duty sometime. I'm gonna watch an episode or two of Stranger Things every day for the month of June and catch up. So you are welcome to join me on my journey. Let's watch episode one. Oh, real quick before I watch, let's say everything I know about the show. So I know it's in the 80s, I think. Uh, the character, main characters are some young te teenage preteen boys. And then there's a the girl, Eleven. She's got a buzzed haircut at the beginning and sometimes has a bloody nose like when she does magic uh, or something like that. Uh, I had a roommate dress up like Eleven for Halloween one time. I know there's a scary monster person whose like freaking head looks like a carnivorous plant. Like, it is a little bit in the horror genre, and that's why I never like uh, actually watched it in the first place because I'm not a huge fan of that. But my siblings and my husband say I would like it, so I'm trusting them. I know I heard a conversation with friends talking about shipping the mom. I think there was someone named Matt at some point, maybe or Steve. I was hearing that conversation the same time I was watching Fuller House at one point and I thought they were talking about that at first. So it's one of the guys has the same name as the guys in Fuller House. At some point there's something with uh, Christmas lights. Saw the Studio C sketch. There's something called like the underground, no, wait. The Upside Down. I had to look at the, the episode eight title. And at some point in season three, they go on a walk in through field up a hill to, and there's like an antenna. That's the part I saw in season three with my husband, just like five minutes of that. So yeah, I'm gonna watch the first episode of season one right now. I will be posting my reactions and stuff as soon as it's over in like an hour. I'm watching Stranger Things for the first time. Let's watch season one, episode one. Dude, take the stairs. I'm sure they have some. I thought it was Demi Gorgon, like Demi Lovato. Rejected. Wait, were my friends shipping the sister with some guy named Steve? I did not get that. Spooky. What the? Where'd they go? My TV freeze? Oh, nope, it's dimming. That was a really long intro. Dude, zip your pants up. Don't like him. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! I'm vibing on the nerdiness. The shade. Those walkie talkies are massive. <laughs> oh shoot. I liked him. Creepy. It was very good. 10 out of 10. I'm watching Stranger Things for the first time. Let's watch season one, episode two. Ah! It keeps auto playing where my husband's watching in season four. Okay, here we go. Lol, their reaction. They're so cute. That was a much more normal length intro. Am I supposed to like him? Okay, maybe I get it. <laughs> what? This dramatic irony is killing me. When are the kids gonna see the shed? Foreshadowing? The plot thickens. Finally. Now he's someone I can hate. This is so intense. Not again! Okay, that's so scary, but at least it wasn't a jump scare. Why, why, why are you going back in the house? <laughs> there were a couple more scary parts in this episode, which is definitely the reason why I didn't watch it when it first came out. Eh. Still pretty good though. I'm getting into the mystery now. I'm watching Stranger Things for the first time. Let's watch season one, episode three. The juxtaposition here. I just noticed she's in the pool in the scary alternate dimension. That's interesting. Did she just die? I love how she's totally going crazy. <laughs> she actually did it. It's good to get little tidbits of her backstory, but it's so short. Oh no, is something gonna happen to the little girl? I don't know if it's Will or if I should be creeped out. No, 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 no. <gasps> Why was her getting picked up a jump scare? Dang. Fire. This episode's a lot scarier. Ah! That's good. 
It's so frustrating that she can't just explain everything that's going on. I've seen pictures with all the letters on the wall and it makes so much more sense why now. That thing's terrifying. That's gotta be Barb, right? What kind of ending of an episode was that? It didn't even confirm whose body they found. Still pretty good. Not a huge fan of the scary parts, but I like the mystery. I'm watching Stranger Things for the first time. Let's watch season one, episode four. Why is there no evidence that the thing came through the wall? And of course no one believes her. Not Hopper gaslighting her. There's some real confirmation that he's alive. <laughs> How long will it take for people to actually believe her? <laughs> Aww. Good. Good. Nice save. <laughs> nice job playing that one off. Is there something in the picture there? I literally don't see anything. That's gross. And scary. Also, are they not worried about whatever it is that attacked him coming back out? <laughs> Eleven's got him. I didn't expect that. Finally, oh my gosh, it's taking them forever to put stuff together. I was confused. I thought this was a flashback. He's on to you. There's the proof that the creature came through. Wait, that's him. So the question is, how do they get to him? I still can't even tell what's in the picture. Okay, so it's a fake! Why is he here? I think I'm really getting into it now. It's taking them forever to figure everything out, though. I'm watching Stranger Things for the first time. Let's watch season one, episode five. He's gotta have really light footsteps for them to have not noticed him. Dang it, he got caught quick. Oh, good, good. He's still getting in. Of course, he's gaslighting her, too. Finally, she's explaining things. I love how he's able to figure it out based on two words that Eleven said. I love how there's like the exact same thing in D&D. I just got chills when he read that. Busted. I'm just glad he didn't get stuck in the upside down too. Shut up. It's so annoying that there's like four different groups of people that are trying to figure out where Will is, but they're not communicating with each other, so it's taking them even longer to figure it out. I love how the teacher's just as nerdy as they are. <laughs> Dang. Finally, they're communicating with each other. <laughs> This show has the weirdest jump scares. Why didn't you stay together? Girl, what were you doing? You really think that's a smart move? It's gonna see you. Oh no, it's Venus Flytrap Man. Why didn't she bring the baseball bat with her? Finally, we're getting answers. Honestly, this was probably my favorite one so far. I'm watching Stranger Things for the first time. Let's watch season one, episode six. She is literally screaming up a storm. Why isn't she getting chased by the creature? Oh, there it is. I thought the hole closed up. Okay, at least she didn't get stuck in there. Oof. Sorry, Steve. At least these two are communicating, but I wish that they would talk to the two groups of kids and they would put stuff together so much faster. And on this episode of Weird Jump Scare, Dustin's got some surprisingly good conflict resolution skills. Is this how the gate's gonna be created? And she's a pretty effective shoplifter. It is not a good idea to split up. You know that. Oh, is that where Eleven came from? I'm just waiting for him to go all the way around the lab and realize that's where it is. When no one would believe the truth, so you might as well say. He has been a real jerk. That's gonna throw a wrench in their plans. He's figuring it out. Yup, there's the lab. I was wondering how Elle would save him. And that's how the Demogorgon got in. Oh no. They always end on the biggest cliffhangers. Anyway, I'm still enjoying it. It's just taking them forever to figure things out. I'm watching Stranger Things for the first time. Let's watch season one, episode seven. <laughs> Holy crap. I got tired after dinner, so I like paused it and fell asleep for two hours whoops anyway that's why i really didn't have that many comments for the first 10 minutes of the episode let's keep going danger from you stop lying you creep oh good now these two groups are communicating i hope this just means that he's gonna start looking for 11 and all the groups are gonna work together it's fair that he thinks it's a trick but that just means it's taking even longer for the groups to start working together yay Ah, <laughs> yes. And of course they needed that to prove that Hopper was on their side. Yay, now all the groups are communicating with each other, so they're finally gonna be able to work together. So much for sharing secrets. I think they're both in denial. Oh, gross. He looks really weak. Of course now they're splitting back up into their original groups. Is there gonna be a real jump scare now? <laughs> And of course, that was the ending. I really like this episode because the groups finally communicated with each other, so they now all know what's going on, but of course, they're separated again. I'm watching Stranger Things for the first time. Let's watch season one, episode eight, the first season finale. I still hate the fact that they've all split back up into their original groups. I guess there is a point to them staying behind just to keep Eleven safe. I'm just waiting for the Demogorgon to show up and for him to realize how much he misunderstood the situation. <laughs> Holy crap, did she just pull a gun on him? <laughs> Steve's face. That is terrifying. It is so hard to tell what's going on with all the flashing lights. There's still over 30 minutes left of the episode. There's no way they killed it already. It's cool to see the lights turn on as Hopper and Joyce walk through the hall in the Upside Down. Why'd the Demogorgon go all the way to the school? Oh, that's why. Ah! 
Oh, we had it coming, I guess. Oh, wait, does it like nest at the school? Blah. The flashing again, oh my gosh. We all knew she was the one who was gonna have to defeat it in the end. She's still alive though, right? <laughs> Yay. Yeah, those must be for L. What? Season one had a pretty solid ending. There was a lot of flashing in that episode though.